Hi, my name is Priyanka, and I'm the product lead on Microsoft Clarity. In this video, you will learn how to easily track key user actions with Smart Alerts. Imagine you updated your e-commerce website's checkout flow, and you wanted to understand how users interact with it. However, you have a lot of sessions. So how can you filter the data to only see recordings and insights related to the new checkout flow? With Microsoft Clarity, Smart Events allow you to filter to the exact actions you care about. For example, when a user clicks on a go to checkout button. To view a smart event, navigate to the dashboard card. The numbers on the right represent the number of sessions where an event occurred, or the percent of total sessions that contained the event. The recording and heat map icons link to those respective tabs and automatically apply the smart event filter, or you can filter for a specific event directly in the filters panel. If you're watching recordings for a specific smart event, you'll notice that they will appear in the event timeline. So you can quickly jump to the right timestamp. To view what actions are included in a smart event, navigate to the settings panel and click the event. This overview page shows all actions captured by the smart event. In this example, our checkout smart event is triggered if a user clicks on any variation of go to checkout. These numbers indicate how many sessions are detected for a specific trigger. Now let's say you wanted to add or remove an action for this smart event. Click Edit Event or the pencil in the Settings page. Choose from the button clicks, API events, page visits, and Clarity Auto events. Add the signals and click Save. The new smart event will now be updated in your list and available in the dashboard or filters. To create a new smart event, select New Event. Detected Clarity Auto events will show up here as a starting point or you can select Start from Scratch to add your own signals. Choose from the available button clicks, API events, page visits, and auto events. Add your triggers and then name your event and click Save. The new smart event will now be added to your list and available in the dashboard or filters. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.